Welcome to Learn Yourself. Today we are going to solve some of the question answer from the chapter 3 Atoms and Molecules. This chapter is under CBSC standard 9 syllabus. So we are solving question answer from the page number 32. So first question is that 0.3 gram of sodium carbonate is reacting with 6 gram of acetic acid. Then we will get 2.2 gram of carbon dioxide. 0.9 gram of water and sodium acetate that is of 8.2 gram. Now our question says that show that this observation are in agreement with, with the law of conservation of mass. So how can we show that what is the law of conservation of mass? Conservation of mass means Whatever reactants we are taking, whatever the amount of reactant or whatever weight of reactant we are taking, the same amount, same weight we will get at product side. So here we are proving that matter cannot be destroyed and matter cannot be created. Whatever mass you are adding as a reactant, the same mass you will get at the product. So to prove that, to prove the law of conservation of mass, we need to add the mass of reactant and we need to add the mass of products and we will see that both are equal or not. So here 5.3 we are adding in 6. So we will get 11.3 gram total of reactants. Now here we are adding this 3 we will get 11.3 gram. So here we can see that the weight of reactants and weight of products are equal. They are same. So we can say that yes the law of conservation of mass is hold true for this reaction. Then second. Second question is hydrogen and oxygen combine in the ratio of 1 is to 8 by mass to form water. What mass of oxygen gas would be required to re react completely with 3 gram of hydrogen gas. Now we know that hydrogen and oxygen when react together we will get water. So for water we require this ratio. So what is our ratio? This is hydrogen is to oxygen. So 1 is to 8. So what is hydrogen here? This is our hydrogen and this is our oxygen. Now question is that what mass of oxygen required to react with 3 gram of hydrogen? So here we are changing hydrogen to 3 gram. Then we need to calculate that how much amount of oxygen we require to react with 3 gram of hydrogen. We can directly write this here 3 multiply with 8 because here 1 is there. Or if this number is other than 1 then we can calculate like this that 1 gram of hydrogen react with 8 gram of oxygen. So if we have 3 gram of hydrogen then how much amount of oxygen we require. So here to calculate the amount of oxygen we need to multiply 8 into 3 divide by 1. So here 24 gram. So how much oxygen we require? To react with 3 gram of hydrogen, then 24 gram of oxygen we require. The third question is, which postulate of Dalton's atomic theory is result of law of conservation of mass? Again, what is the law of conservation of mass? Matter cannot be created, matter cannot be destroyed. So here you can see on the page number 32, the other side of the page, where the Dalton's postulate have been given. There are six postulates we have also studied. You can see the video in the description link. So the second postulate tells that atoms are indivisible particles which cannot be created or destroyed in chemical reaction. That means how much amount you are adding in reactant side, that much amount you will get at the product side. So atoms cannot be created and atoms cannot be destroyed. So the second postulate of Dalton's theory is result of the law of conservation of mass. 
Then fourth question is which postulate of Dalton's atomic theory can explain the law of definite proportion. Now what is the meaning of definite proportion when we are writing H2O. Then two atoms of hydrogen is reacting with one atom of oxygen. This is definite proportion. You cannot change the molecular formula of any compound. Postulate number 6 explain the law of definite proportion which says that the relative number and kinds of atoms are constant in given compound. Constant means anywhere on the earth wherever you find a water and if you will chemically taste it then you will get two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen in one molecule of water. So that is the meaning of atoms will remain constant in one molecular compound. So the sixth postulate explain the law of definite proportion. So that is all for today's video. In coming video we are going to solve some of the more question answers. So don't forget to subscribe learn yourself. I will see you in next video till then keep learning keep sharing.